Hi everyone, today we'll see how to draw white lace using Photoshop. As a first thing, we scan our croquis or we photograph it. Then we import it into Photoshop and image adjustment levels. Now we need to select the wall croquis and drag and drop on a new layer. Remember to color the new layer in grey so that the white lace will stand out. When we are done adjusting the croquis dimension, we'll go to Magic Wand, select the background, select Inverse Selections, select Safe Selection, Croquis. Now we need to show the grey background through the transparent fabric. So we create a new layer, we color over the transparent areas with the background color and to recover the lines we duplicate the croquis layer, we drag it over the top and we set it as a multiply. Done! Then we pick a nice skin color, we create a new layer, we set it as a multiply and we color over the whole skin. Don't forget to add the required shadows and highlights using the burn and dodge tool with a very low opacity. When done with the shading, we can add our color and makeup, always adding a multiply layer for each element. When coloring the outfit, we we'll begin with what is underneath, the underwear. As usual, we create a new layer, we set it as a multiply layer, we select the underwear, select Save Selection and we color it. When coloring black fabrics, choose a dark grey instead, so you can shade better. Google White Lace Seamless Pattern, import it in Photoshop, duplicate the background layer and get rid of the grey background by selecting and deleting it. Then get rid of all the other layers except the one which has the lace and the transparent background. Select your canvas, edit, define pattern. Now I really need your attention. Select your dress, save the selection, create a new layer, set as normal and fill it with a simple white color. Now double click on the dress layer and then window such as this one will show. Now mark the pattern overlay option and pick your safe lace. And as you can see, you can scale it as much as you like. Now go on the dress layer and click on effects. A very similar window will show, but it now has the fill opacity option. Pull it down to get rid of the background. You will still be able to edit your pattern later on, clicking on the previous options. When happy with the result, we can rasterize the layer style and add shadow and highlights either using the burn and dodge tool or a brush on a new multiply layer. All this hard work will pay you back. To have different versions of your illustration, you will simply go to Image, Adjustments, View Saturation and playing with the different options, you will have your lace in several different colors by moving the hue or simply black by pulling down the lightness. There's still a lot we could do to make it even more realistic, but this is a good first step to get familiar with creating a pattern. That's all for today, hope you enjoyed, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and keep drawing! Bye!